All right, welcome everybody to the first tech meeting in 2023. Now it's going to see how long is it going to take me to stop writing 2022. So uh, in 23, did every first topic is did everybody get a chance to review the meeting notes from December? Yep. Yep. Any comments, updates, changes, corrections? All right. I think that the meetings, they, the minutes stand, stand approved. Once again, Melinda does an amazing job. All right. Um, thank you. Thank you. Traffic camera update. We do have a quick update. And actually, there was a letter that Chief Hawk forwarded to us. I'll read it real quick. I also uploaded it today to the SharePoint. So if, this is from Jason Gregoric, who is the traffic committee traffic camera committee chairman and it says as you know the western pa chiefs of police association created a committee to determine the best path forward for lpr traffic camera network the committee has received proposals from flock safety plate smart and motorola solutions discussions are ongoing and we should have final proposals in january all proposals are competitive and will permit us to use our existing hardware that's good news for them the pricing is similar to the plate capture solutions model and all software companies are able to incorporate the overview cameras and LPRs into one software platform. Our software evaluators are working on a side by side comparison of flock and plate smart software. They create an evaluation guide and will forward their findings to the committee by the end of next week. Both companies provided in person and virtual training sessions for the evaluators. Plate Smart also demonstrated their most recent software version, which provides the same features and functionality as Flock. The committee will discuss our findings and provide a recommendation at the next Western PA Chiefs of Police meeting in January. If you have any questions, send it to that. So, progress. We may be able to do something. So that's good news. Yeah, it's good to actually get some something. I hadn't seen that letter, so I'm I'm glad that. Um, something came in and someone's at least asking more questions about it. Yeah, this uh, the letter was dated December 28th, I think. Uh, Chief Hawk sent it. I think I saw it. On the 29th or 30th, yeah. I think he sent it. Yeah, so middle of all the holiday week last week. Yeah, and he so was, uh, I was going to say, he was working off uh, probably just forwarding emails he was getting. <laughs> yeah, that's all That's all he was doing was forwarding, forwarding stuff on just to keep us in the loop. Mm -hmm. and th How much money do we have in the budget for 23 for traffic, for the traffic cameras? Do you know? I don't know that off the, the cuff. Um, 100,000. Is that what was in there? It was 100, okay. 100, which is... I'm not totally sure about that. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what I saw and I was poking through the line item ones. But is that for traffic light improvements also? I didn't well, maybe. I thought yeah. I thought it was a hundred for the LPRs. I can answer that question. I just don't know. Without, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll figure that out. Um yeah. what 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 was the estimated cost per um it it depends. Depend I yeah. Mean, if it if it's flock and I mean, it sounds like whatever they're talking about is going to be the same right same model function, now, yeah, uh, same as it, basically as a service. So, yeah. uh, flock was two thousand dollars a camera, yeah, a year. So a hundred thousand would get you fifty cameras, which would, you know, I think probably get. No, that's I I, I thought we had discussed trying to be able to do a few to start and kind of budget that every year to expand. Um, well, yeah. If you have to buy it outright, it's probably four hundred grand to get everything done. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, if there's a hundred and it's the subscription model, I think we we looked at it with Chief Hawk was maybe thinking eighty cameras. Yeah, I think it was. We were maybe thinking eighty cameras, maybe less. I think it's less. I think it was less than that. Six sixty five. Sixty five. One hundred twenty five thousand a year is sticking in my head. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So. But, you want, you know, once we've got, they've got this done, you know, we can go back. I'll pull up my notes and stuff and see what, what we had. I think it's all up in the, is it? Yeah. Is it well, and I get, again, I guess if it's in the budget, but I, if you guys do the signalization stuff too, it probably. Yeah. I just sense. don't know exactly. Yeah. That's where I'm going with the. 
So. I don't remember how we broke out exactly what we thought we could spend on it. So I will figure it out. Yeah, I'm like, what would might be helpful is you're looking at that. If you could pull, maybe have somebody pull out of the budget as to what line items we do have for <laughs> technology this year to make sure that we 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 understand what's what's in the budget and how much is in the budget. Yeah, going back traffic cameras, we had it looks like we put 50,000 in in the the cap, the, long, the five year capital improvement budget. Okay. Um, which, you know, falls under the big grouping line item 410, um, which is just kind of everything that's police. Um, okay. But we also budgeted for future years to continue that kind of 50,000. So I think yeah. that was our, our uh, concept was to get to it. but there's another part in here for traffic cameras for a hundred thousand um but i don't know what we included with the readers and infrastructure that goes with like the regular license plate readers and stuff like that so i'll, I'll get a clear answer yeah there's another it. line in here too cameras for parks so that's separate from the traffic cameras I agreed yeah okay great all right, anything else then on the traffic cameras? How about, since we're talking about cameras, I know it's new business, but sure. body cams. Oh, yeah. What's the latest on the body cams? Did we ever um, get Hold that? on, let me, uh, I have an email, so I'll read exactly what Ryan said. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me get it here. Great, I had for I guess that I just per I just stuck that back in the- Because well, what, it was last January, I think, yes. was the grant. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, um, our Andy from our IT company yeah. that we use uh, has been working with WatchGuard about the pre-install preparation um, and tentative installation date of late January for the server and software inside the building. And then um, probably our public works will handle the install of the charging docks inside the, the police station. And then we are going down the path of engaging with Ibis Tech to install the stuff that's needed in the car. So if you know who Ibis Tech is, they do the stickers and graphics for our police vehicles. Um, and one of the, the go-to places in Western PA for that. So that's, um, I, I think, you know, we'll have this, that part done late January. Um, I think the install of the, the stuff that has to go in the cars will probably be in February. And then there's some training that has to take place with, uh, the officers but that's mostly watching some videos it's nothing real intense um on on how to do that but that that's kind of where we are right now um i i think it's going as well as it would uh since we just got the hardware in december um that's kind of where we are um, with that did we, get the, did we get the body cams too or just the server stuff i believe we have everything i believe the body cams came i want to say the first week of december but uh Okay, I know great. they they were downstairs. I want to say someone put them in the room and didn't realize they were there for a few days. Um, so, but uh, they weren't going to be touched by anybody for until we were able to get PM um, computing to take a look and kind of get us down that path. Okay, good. Did the uh, did the redaction software get bought too? We did not, um, but we have a deal with the county with the DA's office. Um, okay. To handle that that type of thing, essentially. I think they charge $100 per request or something like okay. that, which was cheaper than going down the path. Yep. Oh, the much cheaper. Yeah, much cheaper. Nope. Much, I, let, let them do that. I know yep. when we talked to them, it was a concern. So as long as the concern's gone, that's good. Yep. Good. Excellent. Yep. Okay, progress there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd be excited to see them rolled out. Uh, you know, I think they're a good, um, Good product for a lot of reasons for our community, for the safety of our officers, for for uh, the safety of our residents. Right, absolutely. And then we had some of the um, defibrillators. Oh yeah. As well it was the other thing that Chief Hawk was looking at. He's got, I guess he they're looking at some of the funding stuff that we sent out earlier. Yeah, there's um, a couple couple grants he's engaged on. Um, the firehouse grants one is one that's open here in January. I want to say next week. Um, he got some, I think the Passman Foundation has offered, uh, or, you know, sent a response letter that they're interested in making an offer towards an AED cost. Um, our, my, we, we budgeted for them. All I asked was let's try to find some funding if we can, since we have current ones that work or just starting to get long in the tooth. And, um, the other piece of that 
was uh, that I, I, I basically in the beginning of the year isn't the best time to spend a lot of money. That was the other kind of conversation. If we can, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, w- once the property tax revenue kind of comes in, we have a little more flexibility, but like, not that we can't spend money, but I'd rather not try to make big capital expenses in, in the first three months of the year. Um, so that was a conversation that, um, you know, I, I think sometimes everybody wants to jump all over everything, even though it's tough to get some things. I think we're ordering things that we know, or it's going to take a long time right now um, before we just buy everything at once. Okay. All right. Makes sense. Is there anything that we can be doing and, and to help on any, on, on any of those fronts at this point in time? Um, I, I don't think so. I mean, obviously any continued ideas that are newer, new after you guys did the research on the AED grants, um, we'll always, you know, be exploring our grant opportunities. Yeah. Okay. And there's enough focus on those, you know, getting grants, especially with, yeah, you know, there's just a lot of focus on that. Right now. I would think, and, you know, maybe not right away, but obviously with it, the, the elevated conversation about AEDs with the, the NFL. Um, yeah is probably going to, you know, maybe put some focus on some smaller grant programs to try to make that part of their, their, um, you know, focus. Right. That's what I was, I was thinking about that as well. Yeah. All right, good. Okay. Well, that was a kind of an update on the whole <laughs> police department there. Yeah. We'll, and talk, I, fire, we'll talk fire in a minute. <laughs> I was going to say, we'll do it since we're going down the traffic traffic camera you know if you guys didn't see it was a good announcement today that the the town of mccandless is going to receive uh four hundred and fifty nine thousand uh, dollars i believe towards uh improving 21 of our uh, traffic signals um, oh i did not see that yeah so uh thanks to to senator lindsey williams and and state rep rob mercury and and state rep arvin benkat now but um you know definitely rob and, and lindsey put a lot of effort into helping our town get that grant. Um, and so that, you know, basically will give us some battery backups on, on 21 signals that we don't currently have and uh, also update the box and, and give us a lot more ability to control those um, at least at the, the scene of the, um, at, on site at the, the traffic light itself. That's the, that's the whole way from the county line to Ross, right? Yeah, I don't know exactly which 21, like we kind of, we had our, our, our Public Works pick the 21 most important ones, and then we're going for other grants to replace ones that uh, include replacing the entire light structure, poles, all that stuff. Because that's you know that's about four hundred thousand dollars a pop now. To yeah, I guess I, I guess I was I sorry I was meaning it goes through Marshall, Pine, and McCandless, right? No, no, that's not what this this was twenty one oh, in, in McCandless, yeah. Marshall didn't Marshall and Pine didn't get it. No, we've been talking with them about uh, you know, future grants and programs working together with all that kind of the things up 19, uh, Perry Highway, Wexford Flats, all that stuff. So it's Um, it's not it's not the whole rhythm system. It's just it is not. Okay. Up it's updating the technology we currently have, which is getting, you know, again, starting to show its age. Good. A nice hefty size grant. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Thank you. That's a nice one to walk into for sure. Absolutely. I, I can't take credit for it. At the end of the day, it's the, the people, the great people that are working at McCandless were here before me that, that made that happen. But you just get the fun part of implementing it. Yeah, yeah I'll take that all day. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, anything else then on public safety? We'll talk about fire under... Um, we we'll get the software stuff. Anything else, though, was what we were talking about cameras and anything else on that topic at this point? We nope. kind of ex- expanded that traffic camera, <laughs> added everything there. All right, uh, next topic, website update. How is the implementation going? What's the latest with the focus groups? Uh, I mean, there really hasn't, you know, based on the December holiday and like the, the back end work, there wasn't a whole lot to, uh, to update. Um, okay. where we are in that other than I've asked um you know our department heads and I probably said this last time to put together um updates to their their text and those type of basically the details that they have on their website um that doesn't need drastically revamped but is ready to 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 get a refresher okay so what's kind of the thought with the focus groups and we've talked about going back out to them and let them know and 
Right. Yeah, I think right. once we actually get like the the options to put in front of them. Um, okay. I think that's where we're going to go next. When do you think we'll, we'll have that, Brian? Just just from a time frame for set. I don't think it's impossible that we would get something in January, but I will. Um, I, I'll, I'll I'll find out tomorrow. I'll talk to RJ or on one or Friday. By Friday, I'll have an answer for you about what where we think the timeline is because I I think I have that somewhere. I just don't. It's it's uh. It's I'm secondary on the project kind of thing, so right. I don't have the, the full details off the top of my head every day. Well, we 14 people who had volunteered. Right. Or so. Whenever we have something concrete to ask them to do, I think. Oh yeah, we, you've got you've got at least a good group like, to do that. Yeah. Well, and I'll see RJ on Tuesday as part of the zoning fit meeting, so I can talk to her briefly about about this too. Yep. So, um, all right, we'll do that. All right. Next topic is anything else then on the up on the website? Any other questions, updates? Uh, right. Which it's it's not surprising. Um, Considering I knew not a lot was going to get done in December with the holidays and and all the rest of that. Okay, so um, on the software the fire pre planning, I did spend some time with Jeff this morning, going through on the pre planning. Jeff Wisner, what uh, he has researched, uh, and I will update. You've got a couple of bids in front of you. Let me kind of let me explain what's been going on. Here's my notes from my discussion with him this morning is he has been looking at the pre-planning software because what they're using today is um, out of support uh, and definitely going when there's two major vendors one is by ESO and the second is first due apparently ESO is is fading away and it's not as much uh, in the focus as first due is the um, for the state fire commission is using first to do for the fire reporting software and brian if i'm misspeaking feel free to well, pipe up. Um, but he's done a couple of they've done a couple of demos of the of, of first due for the pre-planning portion of it uh they got uh, the fire chiefs had a chance to look at it as well and that's the option that he'd like to go with now the two proposals you have in front of you one is for the pre-planning software the one the smaller one that is the first piece is what we've been talking about. Now, the volunteer fire companies, there is a mobile response um, set of software that is also being used called Rover. Rover was bought by ESO. So it's also going to be going away at some point in time. The volunteer companies are using Rover, which does more of the um, response time things as you're going out on a call it will it will route them it'll do routing software it'll it'll help direct and you know all that kind of stuff that happens when they get when they when they get the, the call and they head on out um, that is what the bigger one is is if we decide to add that second piece at some point uh, i talked to brian i talked to jeff and I said, you know, what? one of the nice things about this is if we do stay with first do and go with the initial pre-planning and then add their, the other components, it will be integrated. So I said, that's always a good thing when one system feeds into another because we don't have any of that. The fire systems today are all separate. Nothing feeds into anything else. We really haven't done anything with fire software in a long time. Um, so that's kind of the basis of what these two proposals were, my suggestion to him. And I think there's some things that need to be fluffed out in this, these proposals is to start with the pre-planning and then potentially add the other piece at a later point in time. Because I am sure the secondary piece is not budget, budgeted. Is that a fair summary, Brian, as to your conversations with him too? Yeah, I, I would say the the first piece is is lower than we estimated, but I'm I think it probably makes sense to go with the first piece, which is good that it's lower, and um, we're also going through going to plan do a strategic plan with the three fire departments, and I think maybe that's you know where we talk about that second piece, which is really then going to be their software, um, right? And that's I, I think that makes the the most sense. I think it's good to have that option right now. Um, but I, I think uh, I, I, as it was put in front of me, I like the the first pre-planned software, like just the first module. Um, 
the you know the le the three the less than four thousand dollar one. Yeah, the one that's one that is the uh, and the way this breaks down the one time subtotal that's five hundred dollars worth of of installation, and then it's it's two grand for a yearly subscription. I think what what I would suggest to Jeff, um, and I can go back to him or you can go back to him, doesn't matter, uh, but we we should get from them is to what some of the ongoing costs. Is it truly uh, $2,500 per year? Are they going to guarantee that for X number of years? Is, you know, is this, uh, you, we're just doing a one-year contract? I mean, there's all the T's and C's kind of things around it, but uh, to me, this looks fairly reasonable after he did the, you know, the proposals and, and looked at the the other pieces, so. That's kind of what this is. Now, um, on the second and the bigger one, is there a piece that the town would have to own, or is it just the fire companies? I don't know enough about it. Like, I think even at the end of the day, we would still, it'd be ours, um, but, you know, would be actually used by the fire departments, um, if I understand it correctly. So I don't and know I, how that comes into play when you're talking about software licenses and things like that. Yeah, because I don't think we pay for Rover today. I don't remember ever seeing Rover on any of the software. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe, believe we did. So I don't think we you pay. I don't think we pay for it today. Yeah. So that's also another conversation is when we're talking about what what is whose responsibility is it? Is it something that the fire departments um, would? absorb because they're not paying for whatever they're continuing to pay or you know is that a that's probably a conversation come out of the steering committee with the fire departments and the the strategic yeah. plan that makes sense does anybody heard any is anybody familiar with first to do as a vendor they're pretty I mean, I, i'll I be honest i've never even i didn't even know what pre-planning software was three months ago um, until jeff told me about it um, it, it makes sense, but I've never, I, I don't know, with the, the way that we do fire in Western PA, um, it's, it's kind of, uh, it's, it's a really, sounds like a really awesome thing to have. Um, but yeah, that's kind of uh, yeah, where I, I am. Like, I think it's, I think we, we are one of the few communities that probably is ahead of the it could be ahead of the game on it if we get to that point um just because of the nature of small volunteer fire departments yeah well i think there could be a lot of value in it it's just the question is to for the bigger piece who's going to pay for it yep. right and and how it works in with everything else mm -hmm. well yeah. and even i mean the two the cad integration i mean that seems to me like that would be more here than the fire department that's too, what i'm there may be like, pieces it, it, but again at the end of the day if it does something and there's a benefit that's even six thousand dollars more a year is not that much it's not it's not going to make or break no but i thought you should get started <laughs> let's get started with one and then oh yeah and then add and then add the second and jeff was going to be here this evening although um there is a, a memorial service going on tonight yeah um, uh, the tonight the 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 viewing for here. for our for jeff our building inspector and assistant fire marshal uh, uh was the fireman's kind of viewing so they were doing uh you know some some kind of parade style apparatus um thing before the viewing tonight so i think that's where you that's know great. jeff would be tonight yeah yeah I told him we can cover this <laughs> you go there <laughs> so all right, so that's the latest on this. Any other comments or questions? Just do, just do it. Yep, I'll I'll go back, Brian. I'll go back to uh, Jeff. Send him a quick note. We we said you know go. We're we're all good with going forward with a you know with the first piece. Yeah. Uh, but also suggest that he get from them, and I'll copy you on it too, of course. Yeah. That he gets you know out years what they expect from you know if we can try and get you know two or three years guaranteed or whatever just so you've got a, a diff, you know a broader view besides just a one year kind of one and done. Yeah, I'd say you, you're recommending the the first due quote for three thousand you know yep. pending some review of long term cost. Yep, absolutely. All right. Um, next up was finance and tax. And I think uh, we've got a demo. Trisha's got a demo coming up for tax. Correct. I think is it the 11th? So is it the 11th? 
feel like it's the 11th of January, which is next week. Hold on. I think you sent it to me. Oh, it's not on my calendar. I didn't send you an invite yet because I haven't received that. Okay. So I'm waiting for Judy Wagner to get it to me. Was it in the morning on the 11th? It looks like uh, a 1.30. Yes. Ooh. Well, you guys will have to do that one with, <laughs> with that, but that's okay. If you're happy, if you got, you know, depending on how it goes, if somebody else would like to attend, you're more than welcome. So that's with tax. Um, yeah, because that's RBA, right? That's And that's a yes. tax. Um, and yes. so, I mean, I, I'm going to lean on Tricia and, and Judy for their take on it since they work with it every day. Which, yeah. which tax is it? RBA. No, I mean, is it the business privilege tax or is it? I feel like I'm going to say this wrong, but I think we found out RBA could do more than we thought. So that's why it yes. might be um, like, a, it's it's all, I want to say it's all three. <laughs> I think um, it is. Yeah. That's, that was my understanding because we didn't think it could do all three. Yeah. But it, but they, they're they claiming it can. Yes. It'll and the two our demo, 130 to 330. Yeah. And that'll be, um, if they can do all three, that's great because then we currently have, they just have to, up, we have to upgrade the software that's in house. That's correct. Which would be good to do. So that's, that's next Wednesday, a week from today. If anybody would like to attend, let me know and I will. You can it. send it to me and if sure. I can. Could you send it to me too, please? Sure. I'll just send it to the whole crew. Just send it to the crew. I unfortunately will not be able to make it. I had something else come up. So I thought it was in the morning. It's my mistake. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but we'll be well covered with you guys. No worries. Uh, any then any up so once that goes through, that decision is made. Has there been any other discussion on the finance side? I know Trisha was gonna hold until after that is there any other updates with springbrook or anything i don't know of any other updates other than the continued kind of ask of put it all together for us the way we want to see it um okay let's get through tax and decide exactly what goes into it it's so yep okay any other business this evening i was gonna say the last is is the acufund stuff done or is that still being pursued um i want to say because recently we weren't particularly like pleased with the way um brook what's it well, springbrook spring spring. i want to call it brook spring all the time is uh putting together their proposal i think we at least wanted to reach back out to aggie fund and be like so what what do you have that's new or different that might work um so I think that we're at least engaged in that point, but I think we also, it, the, the limitations come back to that it's not a design for government and that's, you know, kind of. Right, it's kind of, kind of the reason we got to where we got was right. we couldn't do what we wanted to do. So it's kind of like, you know, if it wasn't going to be Springbrook, then the mistake was made to approve Tracer and you should have just got Edmonds to do everything is where I'm getting at. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think it's really engaged. I think it's sort of just a professional okay. courtesy at this point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else then? Any other business, Brian? Anything else that's on your agenda for us? No, I don't have anything um, that uh, to add to the to the good of the cause at the moment. Okay. Taking up old stuff. Do we want to? Reapproach any of the TV stuff with North Allegheny. Oh yeah. Um, have you have any had any discussions with North Allegheny with the, the new superintendent over at NA about the TV and? Uh... I've had a meeting with her, but not about the TV or the 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 PEG channel. Um, uh, I've talked a little bit to John about it, just because you know it's a matter of curiosity. Something came up somewhere, kind of thing. But um, no, haven't haven't looked into or moved forward with any options um for that yeah. and i don't know how much different it is now that i you know I, I don't know how many people have how many people don't have traditional cable anymore too um so i'm curious to see like what that looks like but. the grant yeah. there was a grant from comcast yeah. that went with it that probably is still just sitting there and 
which yeah. which is in every community like we got, I got that one in another place that was too and it was like we that we had nothing to do with it the school district didn't have a peg channel we didn't have <laughs> it was just kind of sitting there we didn't know what to do with it um so a very similar concept well I know the way we left it with NA is that we have the grant money and since we're you know using that they're the ones that right now have the peg channel we in theory owe them some money but we were supposed to have a contract between the two organizations and this is probably 18 months now yeah well okay. and then, that you know also no there's they have the new it director but they're also embarking on changing the whole student information system in six months well that's so, what i was going to ask you since you're on, on their committee oh yeah that i can i'll explain that thing <laughs> offline yeah but, but since you're on their yeah, committee least, has there been any discussion from the na side about this no okay but that's why i was bringing it up do we want to at least side but, approach it a little bit or do we want i mean again i was thinking i know last month there was a disaster with the AV stuff in the room and could the Comcast grant kind of get reapplied to fix some of this kind of getting a like not to knock what's been done in the room I mean it was it, it, to get it together for COVID and everything and how quickly we right did it. It it's was... been great but now might be the time to revisit if it's going to continue like the mess that's under the desk there and yeah, everything. Yeah, the mess else. that's under the desk. And then Craig was flickering in some really funny, so funny so, colors. I mean, wow, Craig. You know, if that Comcast grant, like, I don't, I don't know where it lands. I think we were always banking on it to upgrade the equipment at the school to broadcast the things. But can we get around it the other way and upgrade the AV in the room under the grant? In the well, room, is that what you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. Well, how? <laughs> Ask how much <laughs> and i think maybe this is a discussion brian you know we should have with john how much are we really using that channel it you know as and i know we're you know publishing stuff out on youtube i mean how much do we really need to be given that the world is different now than it was 18 24 months ago you know because neither organization has really invested anything into this quote unquote partnership around that but i don't know if there's much need right before it i i Maybe. don't know i think that's kind of where john and i had the very basic conversation of like what what's it look like these days and at the end of the day like we put our stuff out on you know youtube and our website and our our so like i you know I, we're not putting any meetings out as far as i know on the channel what's the peg i actually don't even know what the peg channel looks like these days because i have youtube tv um yeah me too i don't even have cable. I, I don't i i have cable I, i've been on it and... i still have it but i haven't gone down to those 20 channels yeah. and <laughs> i don't know how long uh, yeah i don't know if the school district's even feeding anything into that anymore yeah like I, I would think we might be giving the slides kind of similar that we give to um mccandless crossings digital sign um Type no, stuff, we but... actually weren't giving anything to them. All okay. we were, giving, all we were get, sending over to them was the was council meetings. Okay. And that was that was the re what because that was all it was at the time was council was meetings. Pretty much, it occasionally there might be some. We had we had talked about doing more things, but like, once in a while there was like a community day. Thing, yeah, right? like there was an occasional thing, but yeah, so it might be okay. the better the better thing of could. Could we can we use the Comcast grant for something else? Okay. Right. Well, I'll I'll dig back into that. That's something we'll we'll have somebody take a look at and figure out. Because I think that's what it's like thirty. Yeah, it's probably there's probably thirty grand left in it because I they let I think we bought John's Mac under yes. it and maybe a camera or something. So gotcha. if that was okay, would it be okay to buy the better you know equipment? Yeah, some equipment just here or streamline or, the room so it's less of a problem when they're yeah. kind of speeding and you know, or is there some other things on the wish, you know, that was currently right. in the budget we could use that and then you know just shuffle some read not shuffle redirect funds to be appropriate <laughs> to, to be appropriately used. Um 
you know, but usually, but there is that money sitting out there. And the, the way we left this contract very clearly was in North Allegheny's hands. So we have no open to do's on it. They were, they were to come back to us with a suggested draft of what this should look like. And it's yep. never come back. And I'm okay. sure it is so far down on his priority list. So yeah, they've got, they have bigger issues. Oh, they've got, that's yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what all the issues are in this room and back here, but I do think camera that did auto tracking and auto mm -hmm. zooming. Yeah. Because like uh, Craig, you're always remote. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, it's big mm -hmm. on, on right. When I've been remote, <clears throat> it's a, it's not a good experience for a long meeting. No. And then it's I, not. Some of the other town meetings are much longer than this one. Yeah, we're we're pretty we're pretty efficient here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, good. Any other topics for this evening? Just kick off this year. If not, then do I hear a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. And do I hear a second? Second. All right, then we stand adjourned. Thank you all, and we will talk again next month. Yeah, thank you all. Have a good night. Have a good one. See ya. <laughs>